Hey guys, it is Miss Simrino. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you are brand new, I am very excited that you decided to join me here today for another custom content pack overview. Two of my absolutely favorite custom content creators, Felix Andre and Harry, have teamed up once again to bring us a much needed custom content pack. This time it is the Jardin pack. And this is essentially for you to build like garden areas and patios and all that fun stuff. And it's absolutely stunning. And let's go ahead and read the description. The Jardin is a 51 piece custom content collection by Felix Andre and Harry, which focuses on the garden of your Sims home. Of course, like every other collab, the name requires a little explanation. Firstly, it's pronounced Jardin. You know, like the container for jam and that guy that you used to go to school with. It's also our very butchered pronunciation of the French word jardin, jardin, jardin. I obviously don't speak French, I apologize. <laughs> Which means garden in English, because we are such classy chicks, we obviously fluently speak French not. <laughs> Well, I'm in the same boat. I also do not speak any lick of French, so I did not know how to pronounce that. <laughs> the set comprises of everything you will need to transform your garden into an extension of your home. This set enables you to live, eat, dine, play, and entertain in your outdoor space. Of course, like all of our other collabs, we are sure you will find a use for the majority of these items in other areas of the home too. Highlights of the set include a new kitchen set, which is easily combinable with the kitchen, Ooh, if you guys didn't know, I actually have a video with an overview of the kitchen set as well. So definitely look at that if you don't know what I'm talking about because incredible kitchen set. Living and dining room sets. And don't forget that obligatory picnic bench that we all expect to see in every EA release too. That is, that is very true. However, unfortunately we didn't have enough time to make an outdoor toilet too. Well, I mean, just throw the whole pack out then, right? <laughs> As always, there are matching wood tones and swatch colors all over the place too. The items are base game compatible, with the exception of two items. The water slide requires backyard stuff, paddling pool requires seasons. To easily find all of the items in the set, just search with keyword Jardine in the build and buy catalog. There you have it. Let's go ahead and check out all of the items that came with this pack. I am so, so excited to dive into these items. So we will go in order. I have actually removed all custom content, mods, anything like that, aside from the OMSP shelf, just in case I wanna get a little crazy with decorating as we look at these items. But I mainly just kept this pack present, so I did filter down to custom content. But as a reminder, you could always search what Jardine in the actual like search bar here, and it will start pulling up all of the items linked with this pack. So that is really exciting, but we will start right from the top and it looks as though we're going with like some seats and some surfaces to tables to other miscellaneous like activities and then some decorations. So I am just very excited. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but we will start with the Jardine cushion poof. And this is basically, it looks like a recolor or maybe even a retexture of the little poof that we got with the taller stuff pack. But I very much like this because those swatches for the toddler stuff are exceptionally bright and colorful and they can't always like mesh in with other designs and, and other kind of like color schemes. So this is really beautiful because as always their swatches are full of neutrals and then a few vibrant colors, just of course, depending on the theme of the pack. But I really appreciate that about their collabs because everything is just so neutral and natural looking and that's an aesthetic that I really enjoy and that's kind of what I do with building more often than not so I love this I'm just going to pick one of my favorite swatches here let's see I don't know if I really have a favorite this kind of looks more like a wood tone so I'm going to go with hmm, I like the red the red's pretty it's actually more of like a burgundy than a red and it looks like the bottom pill is actually a little bit more brown so that's really beautiful we also have another poof this is a leather poof and it does look as though it resembles the poof that we got with i think the movie hangout stuff but it looks as though they may have put a little flower design on top instead and that is just absolutely gorgeous i am going to turn it to i'm really liking the red but i kind of want to go with something a little bit different maybe a little bit brighter We'll go with uh, blue. We'll go with blue. Why not? 
<laughs> Blue sounds great. We also have a another poof. This is the last one it looks like. This is just the Jardin poof. I am not sure if this is leather or otherwise, but it is a square poof. And you know what they may have done? And I'm always theorizing when I say this. I have no idea how they do what they do. I'm not a custom, custom content creator at all, but it looks as though it is like the top half of the poof that we got with City Living. Again, those patterns were so vibrant and eclectic, and this is just so neutral and beautiful. And oh, Oh, I like that brown. Actually, that's more of a burgundy too, though. It's not that red swatch. It could also just be the lighting of the lot I'm on, so I'm going to kind of ignore it. Either way, it's absolutely beautiful. I also might want to put move objects on at some point because I feel like it's going to get a little crowded up in here. Tried to pick a big lot, but you never know. <laughs> and okay, so we have a planted chair. That is one of the most unique looking things I've ever seen. That's actually really cool. I don't know how comfortable I would personally be on like a stone chair, but look, there's even like the crack texture. There's a couple of spots and there's just these little like, I'm gonna call them pockets, like the little planters and there's just plants hanging out of everything. That is so unique and cute and I love it. I think I really like this dark brown personally. Moving on to a couple of more chairs or stools actually, technically. This is the round stool, which I think is yet again, very unique looking. I really, really like this one. I would probably gravitate more towards the the actual like neutral wood textures and swatches, but I really like the kind of like olive green that's the default with most of these objects. I just, it's so pretty. It's just so pretty. Like I'm always absolutely floored by the objects that they put out. So we have that little round stool. We also have the dining chair, which I think is beautiful. I really, really like this as well. It kind of looks like a folding chair, but like a really fancy folding chair. And we love fancy folding chairs. They're, they're pretty OG in my opinion. So that's really pretty. I feel like this could fit in with a bunch of different styles as well. So not just trying to create like a patio space or something, but this could really fit in with a lot of different styles and I absolutely adore that. And now we have a handful of sofas here and this is yet again, something I very much appreciate when these two put out a collab is their objects are very versatile or they just create few different like variations of the same object to fit in different spaces. So for example, this is the sofa ending right. So that has an actual armrest on the left hand side, technically if you're sitting on it, that's what I'm going off of and none on the right hand side. So it's kind of open, but they also have the sofa ending left. So you can switch that up depending on how you're placing these sofas, which I think is great. There's also just the full three seater. So it's a little bit bigger than these two because these two look like uh, love seats technically and it has arms on both sides. We also have a love seat that has both armrests as well. And actually let's kind of see, is it the same size? It's kind of the same size. I think it's the arm that really does it. Yeah, see that would, if that had another arm, these, these two that are like flashing red before my eyeballs, um, that would probably just be the space for the arm. So it looks like this love seat is kind of the same size. We'd probably seat two Sims. And we have a day bed, which I, have a feeling oh look at how pretty that is oh i love that it's got like this little i wonder if this has slots does this have slots on it let's see oh look it it's got slots on it oh i love that and that's one of the plants you know what i might as well just put it out now this is a little what hydrangea plant yes i knew it it's a little hydrangea plant look at how cute that is so these are all slots you could put like little candles or lamps or like a drink or something. I don't know. You could do so much with that. That's so pretty because I don't think it's necessarily like a step up onto the day bed or anything. I'm assuming they probably get on on the other side. I think this likely functions as a lounge chair because we don't have like day beds and this is too small to even be like a single bed in the sim. So I feel like this is probably a lounge chair. So that is really pretty. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I have no idea. I haven't like actually played with it yet. So we shall see, but that is beautiful. I love that and I'm hoping <laughs> hoping. I know we're probably going to see this texture here in multiple objects as well. Moving on to a few more kind of seating area things. This is actually a bench. So this is a short bench. Very simple, very sleek, very cute. Love it. And then there's also a three by one. So there's just a longer version of this bench to begin with, which is great. Really got to get move objects on because this is going to get real hard real quick. But that's really nice because you can have a short version and a long version depending on, you know, the size of where you're trying to design a room or something. And there's also one more bench. It's the planted bench, which I had my eye on. And I really like this. It's really unique. It's probably something that someone would make using 
cheats with in-game items already because I think we do have plants with these textures as well or that kind of resemble this and I just love that it's now combined with a bench. I think that's really unique. Same with this chair. These are probably like the two most unique items I've seen so far aside from that day bed. I you know I can't even really say that they're probably all going to be so unique and beautiful. And we're moving on to the lounger. So this is an actual lounger and I do see that it resembles that same kind of like wood pattern and whatnot here. And I am noticing that it looks a little, a little cut almost. It almost looks like there's like scrapes in it. I'm assuming it's just kind of like a, a texture thing, but I mean, I don't make custom content. I don't know things. It could also be because we just had a patch and like everything's broken, but I thought it was only windows and doors. So I don't know. I'm kind of projecting here, but either way, I love this lounge chair. I think it's beautiful. The swatches match everything. So that's a really nice addition to a pack like this. And then we have the floating island so this is technically a countertop that you can place on any angle like any other countertop so this is interesting because i'm assuming that we have other items here that can kind of join with this so here's the floating one and then it does look like we have an outdoor counter available here next in line also that it literally just hooks right together that's really nice oh i love this and look, oh, it has different countertop swatches as well. I never, I can never like pick out the order of these things, but let's see. So we've got like the marble countertop with the different wood textures. We have this black marble, it kind of seems like. We have like a concrete one. Oh, and then we have this granite one. So that's, oh, that's really beautiful. I like this one. I usually go with like a darker aesthetic. Oh, but it does look, even though, it looks like even though it attaches, it does clip a little bit. It's not the end of the world, but it does get a little like flashy. You know, it starts yelling at you because it kind of overlaps. So I wonder if that's a little bit better there where it doesn't overlap. You could kind of just move it. If you have the move objects on cheat too, like that's super easy to do. But as you can see, like the flashing kind of stopped. I think it's a little interesting that this island counter extends farther than the actual countertop. I mean, there definitely are countertops and like kitchen setups that resemble that. But I wonder if some of these other items are going to tell us a little bit more like why that is so let's keep going on i do see some sinks down here but we'll just go in order so we have a couple of tables too we have um actually a handful of tables so this is the planted table short oh oh no the long one oh no it looks like it's a little bit of a glitch i blame the patch <laughs> i don't know but here i'll hold it out for you guys so you can see it and check it out so this is a short dining table. I'm assuming what you can do is attach dining chairs to this. And it's adorable because it has like this pebble texture down at the center. But then there are also like, it's almost like a runner of succulents. I'm trying to think like it's not really a centerpiece, but it looks like a runner of succulents down it. Oh, I wish it would stay. <laughs> I don't know why it's not staying. Oh, well. Oh, well. That's okay. But here's a long version as well. So it's basically the same and it kind of repeats. But that's really beautiful. I wish it would kind of, you know stay since i did notice the sinks we'll leave this space open i suppose for now just to make sure that we can kind of connect these things but let's go ahead and pull out the other tables that we have i do spy a round table here which i love the round tables that we even have in the sims i wish we had more of them oh and these wood textures are so beautiful oh i love that this is probably my favorite table now so we have a round table which i'm assuming what you can do is grab these dining chairs yep and they will just clip right to the table, which is stunning. We also have an end table, and it looks like this is the same kind of, oh, like wood pattern and texture that we have here on the day bed and that we have on that lounge chair, which I think is perfect. So it seems as though there's almost two or three kind of themes or running patterns in this pack too, which I think is wonderful and pretty versatile for a pack that, when I say a small pack, I mean, we get literally 51 items, but it, it is just like a stuff pack that they created. So I, I think we have a fair share of items in this <laughs> for it being a stuff pack. And we also have a, this was what, a coffee table? A coffee table. And what I love about this is that it is the perfect size. It's like the two tiles that we have for a lot of coffee tables, but it's a little bit more square. It's not an exact square, it's more of a rectangle, just not as like thin as a lot of the coffee tables we have. So it's kind of nice that this is more of a square coffee table that we don't have to size down like two times because it's so giant. So I appreciate that it's small enough that we can use it in, I don't know, just smaller spaces. So I am appreciative of that. That's really beautiful. And we'll even change up one of these tones too. I really like this dark wood. It's like the medium dark wood. It's not totally dark because this one's, 
This one's the darkest one, aside from like black. So that is really nice. Moving on, we also have a version of this round table over here, but with an umbrella or a parasol as they actually wrote. And that parasol is actually stunning. I absolutely love this. And yet again, I think what we can do is add some dining chairs too. I might put in that cheat, I might not. Honestly, I'm a little bit lazy, so I may not do it. So that's really nice. So we have two versions of this table, one with an umbrella and one without it. And now I have to filter back to custom content because I copied something over. And that leaves us at the picnic table, which of course was already mentioned. We'll just kind of plop the picnic table. Hmm. We can just pop the picnic table right there. And since we saw the different textures and like the countertops, I'm assuming since this is like wood and cement that we can keep going through these swatches and it might change the top. Yeah, it kind of does. So we just have like some solid wood picnic tables and then we have some with the cement top, which is nice and versatile. So that's really, that's really nice. I really like that. Let's do like a, oh, I don't know. Let's do a white swatch. Why not? We'll mix it up a little bit. <laughs> All right, and now that we are at the sink, so we have two sinks, we have a deep one and a shallow one, and that may actually give us a little bit of insight as to why those island countertops are a little bit deeper than the actual just like full counters, I guess, the outdoor counters. So let's see if we can get a matching swatch. Probably not right off the bat. Nope, not really a matching swatch, but we'll find it. Um... I'm trying to guess. I will say this is something I struggle with. This is not like a complaint in any way, shape, or form. But what I struggle with is when there's so many swatches, I can never remember like which one is which. So I have to kind of like go back and forth. But it looks like this sink. So this is the this is the deep sink and it actually matches the counter. So I'm like a little confused by it. Let's put down the other sink, the shallow one. I think it's... I'm going to keep picking the wrong counter. Is it that one? Ooh, nailed it. Ah. So that's interesting. I'm a little confused by it because like if we wanted it to line up on the back, it looks as though like this is definitely more shallow than the deep sink, but the deep sink aligns with this regular outdoor counter and this floating island is actually just deeper than all of the other items. So I'm kind of curious about that. I'm not sure. Maybe if I were to actually clip a lot of these island counters together. It would look a little bit different. I'm not quite sure, but that's a little odd, I think, to me. I mean, these are stunning items and I could absolutely make something out of this, but yeah, maybe at the same time, it's not that odd. You know, maybe this is technically supposed to be... It is an island. Okay, no, I'm just talking out of my butt. This is an island counter. That's why it's like that. It's not going to align with all of these countertops. So actually, you know what? I was completely wrong. That makes sense. Because if you are going to do this... I mean, you can clip it appropriately if you want, but this is an island counter, so I'm assuming you can't put a stool there, but like maybe a bar stool, maybe that'll work. So that makes perfect sense now, now that I kind of figured it out, took my dang time. And we're gonna move on to the water slide. So this is the item that they were referring to that is going to need the outdoor stuff pack. I am having trouble placing it because, well, I don't have the sheet on, so we're gonna go ahead and do move objects on in big capital letters, apparently. And there we go. We'll just plop it over here, really cutting it kind of close to the edge of that lot there. But what I really appreciate about this item is the fact that there are some really like bright swatches, but everything is mainly neutral. The ones that we have in game with the backyard stuff pack, I mean, <laughs> they're so bright and vibrant and, you know, really like kitty. So this is actually really nice to have something a little bit more neutral. And like they said, still entertain and kind of have fun on your patio space or your garden space. So that is great. There's also some planters. Oh, how nice. So we have a big planter and we have little planters, like a little baby planters. Kind of plop those over there because we have the room. And of course they match everything. And I'm going to make them kind of like some lighter wood. Maybe we'll do a black one for funsies. And kind of that like paler olive, which is really nice. Those are really nice. Those are really pretty. I mean, how would I sit there? Like, how would I expect to sit there and be like, wow, those planters are really pretty. <laughs> it's not something I typically say. And this is the paddling pool. <gasps> oh, look what they did. So this is probably based off the functionality of the kiddie pool. Oh, like the toddler pool. That's what I'm trying to say. But look at how round it is. It's like literally a perfect circle. I love this. And it looks like they have some stone textures for like the rim and then the rest is cement. 
Oh, the aesthetic, the craftsmanship. I love that. That is probably my favorite item so far. I adore that. We'll move on, so I just stopped pining over it, but here we go, we have a planted half wall. So this is really nice because it literally is a half wall. It looks like all of these can line up together, kind of like the, um, is it the backyard stuff or like the perfect patio stuff where they have the taller plants that you can kind of line up, create a wall of green, you know what I mean? But this is really pretty because you could kind of, I don't know, section off some spaces in like your backyard. So like you could make like a dining space there or something. I don't know, we'll leave like two of them just to leave a little bit more space, but I think that that's really neat. I really love that. And I like that there aren't a ton of flowers on it. So it's just green, it's still very neutral, and I think it could go with a lot of things. So that's really stunning. We also, of course, have some more decorative plants because what would a Felix, Andre, and Harry pack be without some decorative plants? So we have the Jardine Monstera vase. I don't know how to pronounce Monstera. I hope that's how you actually say it. And that is just perfect. I was actually always hoping we had a Monstera plant and we really don't. So this is really nice because not only do we have a Monstera plant now with the CC pack, but it's small. So I can put it in smaller spaces, which makes me happy. And then of course we have the hydrangea, hydrangea vase and I did put it over here. So I'm just gonna put another swatch over here. I personally really like the yellow. I think that is gorgeous. It's like a pale yellow, which is stunning. And now we have some, what I'm assuming are going to be bigger plants. So this is the Twisted Yucca. The only reason I know how to pronounce yucca is from Animal Crossing. Thank you. And now what I'm starting to see here, even just in the thumbnails, we'll pull out another one, is that these are plants that we actually have in game already, but they took them and they put them in custom planters. Love this, because this is the tree, I think technically that came with Island Living, or one of the trees that came with Island Living. And this, might be one of those two, but they did make like the stem here twisted and oh, I just love what they do. I love that they take items that are in the game sometimes as well and just turn them into something totally different. I just, oh, I adore it. Same with this. This is actually the bottom from a laundry day plant. It looks like it's a little bit smaller though, which is so nice because that plant was huge. And this cacti or cactus, it's not multiple cacti, Cacti, is it? I don't know, cacti, this cactus, whatever it is. This is actually from Strangerville, I believe. So that is really nice because one, everything is smaller, can go in smaller spaces. And two, that combination, never would have thought of it. There's also a cactus pot. Again, this cactus I believe is from Strangerville or even Oasis Springs, like in the debug menu, but they put a custom planter. So that's really nice. You can achieve so many different looks with these. And now this tree is the potted fern. I think this is actually a debug tree as well. I'm gonna shrink it down just one just to make it kind of fit with the others. But that's really nice to have because it's a little bit of a different plant. I don't think we have any like indoor plants or even like, I don't know, even patio plants. We don't have a lot of decorative plants that are ferns. So that's actually really nice to have. And we also have a cypress tree, which I believe we got with, I think this probably stems from get together. That's what my assumption is. I'm gonna pop it over here again so we don't block everything. It always ends up being so hard with so many items. But as you can see, like look at the amount of items we already have. I mean, we're almost done, but this is a stuff pack, a custom content stuff pack, and we have so much already. Moving on, we have a parasol just by itself, which is perfect. Oh, I love that because I am always looking for those umbrellas and whatnot to provide shade for my sims when I'm doing builds like outside near pools and stuff, but I don't know, there isn't one that's base game compatible. So this is base game compatible. So if you guys are looking for something and you just have base game, this is perfect because the others are like get together and I think seasons you need to have. So this is nice to actually introduce something like this to base game. And now this is a pergola post and what I'm seeing here are a couple of different pergolas. So let's just toss out the post why not and now this is pergola right <gasps> oh how did I not even see this is in the picture for this pack and I didn't even see it <gasps> oh my god that's so pretty look look at this it looks as though it's kind of on like tracks and it looks like it's kind of half pulled out oh that is so gorgeous I love that how did they think of these things? I don't understand. Here, I'll even put another post just to make it look like it's supported. Oh, that is so nice. It's a nice height too. So let's just put the picnic table under there. 
Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. And now, so there's the pergola right, pergola left, and pergola center. And this one is actually pulled all the way out. So even though it does say left, I mean, you could, of course, turn this and have it on the right too. So this one has this little, like, I don't know, this, this fabric that would provide shade. It's not pulled all the way out. This one looks like it's pulled mostly the way out. And I don't know if I can keep, like, all of these up here because they seem to be reasonably big. But there's that one, and then we also have this center one, which has no pillars. So I'm assuming this one can go, well, <laughs> in the center if you wanted to make something a little bit bigger. And this one's pulled out a little bit more, so it looks like depending on kind of what you're looking for, like this one's pulled out all the way, this one's like halfway, this one's just, yeah, you know, not so much. But that is really stunning. I absolutely love this idea. That is so, so nice. Next, we have a fire pit, which... I'm assuming is from like outdoor retreat or something like that or get together at least for like the firewood clump there but I love how they've created this kind of like basin and then there is this pebble texture here which really fits in with of course everything else that's in this pack and I have been oh I've been waiting for this because I saw it in, one, in like the preview in the picture and I was like I need to find this time yesterday. This is the herbal chandelier from Jardine and there are three versions of this for the different wall heights and just look at it. Look at it. There's all these herbs just hanging and it's holding like some candles as well. It's so beautiful. I could imagine like nighttime, that would be so pretty. And like I mentioned, there is different heights. So they all hang at the same height, but they're for the different wall heights. Sometimes I've noticed, and maybe I'm, maybe I'm off, but like some of the EA items that we have that have different uh, ceiling height variations, they end up just hanging lower too. Like they don't hang appropriately. I want them all hanging at the same height. I just need it to attach to the ceiling at the right place. Does that make sense at the right height? Like, I don't know. I feel like some of the EA items don't do a very good job with that, but this is legit perfection. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hang this from the little pergola, which looks like you can do beautifully. Clips a little tiny bit. There we go. That's nice. I like it. I think it's pretty. And then we have two more items, and that is it, which makes me so sad. But we have a Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> That's so cute. It's basically going to be, I'm assuming, like the Alexa speaker or whatever the equivalent is in The Sims. But it looks like a little battery, and it's really sleek, which I adore. And then we have the barbecue grill, which what would an outdoor kind of like patio dine and entertain set B without a grill. And this one, of course, would align probably perfectly with these counters. And I love the added detail of the fire extinguisher there because you can never be too safe. There are, of course, tons of swatches that match everything. I think this is what our countertops were. That is totally my vibe. And that is the Jardine stuff pack. So as I said, there are 51 custom content pieces here. They are so versatile, so neutral, so incredibly stunning, and they are base game compatible. So if you are on the fence about downloading any custom content, you just have base game, but you wanna kind of spice up your game a little bit and bring some flair, I would highly recommend downloading this pack by Felix, Andre, and Harry. And I do not know off the top of my head when the public releases, so I will try to find that out and put it in the description down below so you guys can check that out. Again, I got early access as a Patreon of Felix Andre, and I am so excited that I was able to show you guys this pack and basically just encourage you to get it because it's amazing. But I hope you guys did enjoy this, and I will catch you next time I post a video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!